Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's 750 Legend Nightfall Ordeal, which is set on the Inverted Spire Strike. Now, the weapons and the armor are all at the start. I'm using a bow because it's got overload, overload uh, rounds on it, because we've got overload champions. I'm using Ariana's Vow because of barrier champions, and the 21% Delirium because it's really good for kind of helping with a bit of boss DPS, but also for clearing ads. I've got the Controverse holds on, and I've set my... I've set my seasonal artifact up that I've got uh, the disruptor grenades and then the extra disruptor and then the thrown void void grenades weakens enemies. Top tree nova because why wouldn't you? And the first bit of the strike, I kind of harboured with this setup. I kind of harboured aspirations of the hundred k. So you'll see me go for enemies that I don't really have to go for. I decided about two thirds in that this wasn't going to be a 100k run, that this would just be a completion. So we're going to talk about this as just a completion, not as a 100k. I am going to go and work on a 100k because I think it's highly possible. So the nightfall strike in earnest never it, it doesn't start till you get here. So once you, once you get that uh, respawn and restricted, that's when you you start scoring points and the enemies change, their, their uh, power levels change to the Nightfall level. Now the bow, anybody that's been a follower of the channel will know I enjoy a bow. I do think bows are very multi-purpose. But if you go back and look through the video, I never really used this bow. And for some reason I didn't have... Is it No Turning Back? I can't remember the name of the, the other primary bow. So I went with this. I now know that I have options. Having done this, as I say, when we go for the 100k, I'm going to try a different loadout. But this definitely works. But any long-range primary, you know, I, I would suggest the bow because overload runs. Now, there aren't a lot of overload overload champions in this in this strike. Not, not many that you have to face. It's nearly all barrier. You know, the majority of what you have to, what you have to fight past, you'll face barrier barrier champions. So the Ariana's Vow is very good for that. So what I'm doing here is, because this area is kind of, uh, you'll see I'm going to go down here. It's very, it's very choke pointy. There's, there's a, the enemies kind of bunch up. Our grenades are very good for this area. So as you can see, I put a grenade. It's the exact same way as I've done it last time, except I haven't put a second grenade. So what I'm kind of doing here with the barrier champions, just so you understand how, how I'm attacking them, I'm going to maybe put some damage on them, maybe put a grenade on them, but I will keep my at least three or four Ariana, Ariana Vow rounds for when the shield goes up, because that's normally how much it takes to put the shield down. So once I've cleared a relevant, uh, uh, an acceptable amount of enemies, I'll come down behind this rock, and then when I'm getting my, as you can see, the more kills it seems that you get with the area, the the void grenades, the controverse hold really ramps up the recharge rate. So every time I get a grenade, what I'm doing is because it's in this position here. Yeah, you'll get enemies coming left or right. Some of the some of the fanatics, some of the explorers will will try and push around the back. But what I was doing was, as soon as I was getting a charge grenade, was throwing it at the hydra on the left. If we can get rid of that hydra, we get rid of a lot of damage coming in on us from that side then i can kind of peek and just take down goblins and leave maybe you know leave some of the champions till later on so so as you can see we took down a heap of the prime the the the, the kind of smaller cannon for the rads and now what we're doing is we're going to focus on taking down a champion or two so unfortunately I've said it before many times in videos we'll put another grenade on make sure you're make sure you're reloaded before you attack so we know we've got we know we've got another barrier champion there. So we just waited for the shield to come up. And now we'll we'll, we'll try and finish finish this uh barrier off. And we'll just I think one more shot. There you go. So we've got one more champion here. But a lot of ads have kind of pushed up. Now the problem <laughs> you'll have seen there, the reason I throw my grenade my, my super here is I've got fastball on, so sometimes I unfortunately misjudge the grenade. I'll overthrow it because of that. So a couple of shots. You'll see how much damage. You do a lot of damage with the Arianas. 
And the cool thing about the Ari Arianas is, obviously, we've got Hydra Seal. You can shoot through the Hydra, Hydra barriers, the Hydra shields with it. So it does a lot of damage. It really does a lot of damage against these kind of higher damage enemies. So that is what we're going to use. And as you can see, it finishes it off pretty quickly. We've got a heap of... We've got a heap of... Uh, We've got a heap of ammo here, so we're good for ammo. And that's this area done. So on to the next area, you'll see that there are actually four barrier champions. Now, it was during the, this this period, as we're going towards the next area, I realised I wasn't going to go for the 100k. And simply because I made one, not mistake, i done something that, that kind of ruined it. And I'll explain when we get there, but it's the same idea, the barrier champion hold, you know, uh, charge a grenade on top of them and then take them out while they're weakened. But I actually threw a grenade at some goblins and never got anywhere near it back and had to wait for my grenade. That just took me out of the 100k kind of mode. So what I was doing there, now I have done it before, what I've done is I've put a grenade down. On these barrier champions, as you can see, it, it, you guys know anyway, it does massive amounts of damage. But what I have actually done in the past is I've put a grenade down on the barrier champion and bef managed to take him out with Ariana's Vow before before he's got his barrier up. If you hit those crits, you can, the, the Ariana will do that, no problem at all. Now, last night, me and my clan went in and done the, the 100k. And I have to say, I mean, I, I, I'd done it with two... 935, 930, 935s, and we, we melted it. This is where I made the mistake, throwing this grenade at these ads. If you if you are going for that, well, I am going to do a 100k run. I'm going to I'm gonna really give that a go this week. But this is for people who maybe just want to try it at maybe a lower light. Uh, if I hadn't have thrown the grenade, I would have had a grenade here, and I was I would still mentally been been still on a uh, solo high score pace. So once I had to wait for this grenade, and we took this barrier champ out, I still had to wait for a grenade for the second one. So if you're just going for the run, you could just bypass these two champions and just go straight to the what I call the meat of this this nightfall, which is actually a really easy part of it now the ariana vow is such a good weapon it really makes up for the fact of not you know you could you can it gives you so many options just being able to equip that weapon it gives you so many options to be being able to equip it because it does it does a lot of damage for an energy weapon <laughs> it's a stupid amount of damage in fact I normally don't say stuff like this because I just don't, but it's probably something I could see in the future uh, Bungie toning down because what they seem to do, and I'm not hating on Bungie, it's just I've played this game for a long time and I've seen them do it many, many times. They they put something in the hands of the players and then realise that thing has now become the dominant the dominant weapon in, uh, of its type and then they nerf it and then they do it again. It's not by accident they do it either. You know, it's not like, you know, bear in mind, guys, this this isn't a year one weapon they've, they've done this with. This is the one of the, the new weapons. So they're obviously showcasing, uh, they're showcasing weapons they've just brought out. You know, and it's not, it, I understand that. I understand it. Why would you, why would you make changes to weapons that don't work for the weapons that you, you know, the, that, that aren't best for the weapons you've just brought out, but maybe... All of a sudden, now the Skybanner's Oath is now, you know, the strongest energy weapon in the game. They're not going to do that. They're obviously going to gear things towards the newer stuff. Anyway, no hatred for me. I'm, I, I'm, I'm love. You know, no salt. I'm loving the new, the new weapon, the new archetype. I have some issues, but oh, we'll see. We'll see whether I actually air those in a future thing. So. This is what I call the meat of this strike, right? Now, it used to be, this was, I gear my, my setup up for the boss and this section, but now, as I say, we, t we took down that shield. 
and the Ariana for an energy weapon is just ridiculous. It is ridiculous. So we see all those enemies there, can't resist charging a little grenade and then throwing a super. And we've took one of the champions out. So I didn't realise there was two champions when I threw it. I know, having looking back on it, I can see that the second champion backed away. And that, that for me, is ridiculous. And the fact you only get 900 points for that, that big guy. You get 5,000 for a champion. Well, that, that kind of makes sense because the, it's new, but it just, it's like, I don't know, it's that, it's, it's that moment in the film with the, with the old boss. It's that moment in, in, in the Infinity War where Thanos snaps the neck of Loki. You know, it's like, oh, you're setting up, this is how bad Thanos is now. <laughs> you know, Thanos has just snapped the neck of a previous enemy. So that's kind of, I kind of understand the reasons for doing it, but it still takes me by surprise a little bit that that big arc-shielded boss guy the the centurion you only get 900 points for which tells you two things one the champions are worth taking out if you're going for a score you can you need to take the champions out you know because it's 5000 a time and so far just off the top of my head there's like 7 8 9 10 it's like 10 champions in here is that right? It's 50,000 points on their own. So they are worth taking out. So as you can see, basically breaking breaking that Cabal boss's shield, the Ariana Vell will just work, work him out. You know, he, he'll do, it'll do the rest. So we know we've got the Ariana, we know we've got the, the other boss down there. We're just going to go back and have a look for some ammo. Uh, some wayward grenades, because as I said, I've got fastball on and sometimes I still struggle with the angle when I've not been using fastball for a certain amount of time and then I use it, I struggle with the angle for a bit. Take out those exploder barrels and now what we're going to do, just take out the, the other the other guy around him and then what we're going to do is just move down to the teleporter, take down his shield and let Ariana, Ariana do her thing. So, when you get across this other section, now that you've cleared all this, when you get across this other section, you've got a choice. You can either, if you're on 100k mode, you're going to want to kill some waves of enemies. If you're not, you can keep the same wave of enemies up and just keep evading them. So, for, because of the, this isn't a 100k run anymore, I would suggest, if, if you know, I, I would suggest just keeping those enemies alive and waiting for the teleporter to, to go to zero. Now, I, ha I, I had another run on this earlier before this and I uh, I was on a really good run and I got to the part past this the part with the the part with the drills and it was you've never seen anything you've never seen anything like it I uh, <laughs> I was sparrowing past the enemies and uh one of the drills must have clipped one of the hobgoblins. Now, anybody, you guys will know this. I was just about to say, anybody that's done this, but if you guys are watching this, then you'll know. Uh, I sparrowed past the enemies, and this this drill clipped one of the hobgoblins, which clipped him out right in front of me. Uh, one of the sniper hobgoblins, you know, obviously the, the elite snipers. And he just, like, kind of got clipped. You see him fl fly, fly in front of me. And just quick scoped me as he was flying. Caught the spiral. Never caught me up. But that's worse. Caught the spiral. And that was the end of the run. I was I was gutted. So I carried on the run because obviously you respawn again. Well, you spawn at the checkpoint. You spawn back here. And obviously it never happened to me before. I finished, I finished the run off. It wasn't like I never finished it off. But <laughs> it just shows you that even with them every single piece of plan and you know you think you've took every eventuality into into consideration and a hobgoblin comes out and quick scopes you ridiculous uh so i've killed i've i've killed a few enemies 
And now I'm going to get another wave. Now I think, yep, there we go. The Minotaur chases me. But I see that I'm I'm at 87. It's going up quite quickly. So I just I ran past the teleport and just waited. Waited to see if he would come. He never chased me all the way around here. So I just went into the teleport. Now at this point, this is another tip. If you're going to do this, I always do this. If I'm doing a, trying to get past this part quickly, I'll just spiral past those guys. And then I'll break and break on my spiral. And then as as I'm landing, I've, 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 I've got the break on. I'll dodge. I'll do an, an, an air dodge right to slow down my descent so that you don't take any fall damage. Unfortunately, on the spiral, when you go to break, you start spinning. <laughs> I had to dodge there. I thought I was going to get clipped by that drill. So... I, that's why I jumped off my spiral. But make sure you've got a spiral that you can actually air break on. And that's us at the boss. Now, the boss section, we kind of do have to do a little bit of the mechanics. So the mechanics basically are for this. You do, he's got a couple of spawn points here. He'll go from center to right to far from where we're looking, he'll start there, then he'll teleport to the right-hand corner of that raised platform, and then he'll teleport to the right of us on the same level we're on, and then he'll go middle. Pretty sure that's his rotation. But what we're going to do, because we, we just, I'm not going for the high score, but as you can see, 70,000 is still not too bad. We'll charge a grenade, we'll put the grenade on him, he'll walk into that, so now he takes increased damage. We'll hit him with, with the super. And now he's just about half he half health. He's went he he's went immune. He's gonna go. So we'll just nip up here, grab. <laughs> can't believe I'm saying this. I'll grab the glimmer. Man, I run out of glimmer so quickly. And the platform we want to be on is this one over here. This is like the lower platform, and just crouch and head glitch the boss. Now you have to be careful. So I'm just gonna hit him with a ball just to see he's not immune. You have to be careful because if he if he can hit you, he can kill you on this plate. That stands to reason, but I mean he can do a lot of damage quickly before you've got a chance to realise. So he's going down bottom now. So now we're going to play kind of the mechanics down here because really what I've got at the moment, barring my grenades and my super, probably wouldn't kill him fast enough. So... Trying to use my boat, it can serve Ariana Vows. Ariana Vow. I keep calling it, but I, I, Ariana, we're just going to, the Vow. Can't call it the Vow, that's Bo. I'm just trying to shorten the name because I don't want to say Ariana Vow all the time. Ariana, we're, 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 we're just going to play the mechanics here, right? So I wanted to take these goblins out first. Then we'll do damage on him and then he'll start to move around the map and you'll get your first wave of enemies because we need to get our super. So, once you've took them out, you'll move, get behind one of these pillars. Now, you've got to watch out for his attack. You'll see I get hit by it a couple of times. Just put some headshots on him and then allow him to go. Stay in, keep cover between you and him. And your first wave of ads, if he moves in this direction, you'll get a couple, two goblins coming from the open area over there. Or what, you normally get two. Yep, there's the second one. And then you'll get the rest of them will come from the back. You'll get some hog goblins, right? Just kind of make sure your cover keeps you covered from him. That's that's really... I mean, you don't want to be standing out in front of the ads, obviously. But you want to concentrate on keeping the cover between you and the boss. Because the boss's attack, even if the attack itself doesn't kill you, it can get you killed because it blinds you as well as doing damage. So we'll run out here. There's still a couple of enemies left. And we'll just keep going between these pillars. Wherever he is, just use the pillars. Now, there is a way you can do damage to him and, and, and not take any shots off him. Basically what it is, you'll see next time we look at him, he, he shoots from his left hand and his big attack is from his right hand, okay? If you peek one of these and you peek the le you know, so that the left hand's covered like that, so he, you would be able to see his face, but not, you know, his left hand would be covered. He'd shoot, it's, it's really, it's really kind of, I don't know, it's like, it's, it's quite, quite a, 
a strange thing. You can, you're in cover from his hand. You're in cover from his weapon, but you can see his face. So, just take out the, the rest of these enemies. Now, because we masterwork weapons and all that, we know we've got some orbs over there somewhere. So, I'm just checking. I thought it was safe to go out. That's why I was checking. Haven't got a rift yet, but we'll get our health back. And as soon as we get our health back, we'll finish off the last enemies. We've almost got our super, and we'll, you know we've got a grenade. There we go. That's the last. I think that's the last. There's a, there's a, nope. That he is the last. And we've got another orb to our right. That should that should just about help us. So what we're going to do now? No more damage. Now that this is what I'm on about. So his his big attack is his right hand, and his normal attack is his left. You can you can basically get his his fire his firing weapon in cover so that it doesn't hit you and that's the run guys uh i am gonna i am going to put on uh, or attempt uh 100k so hopefully we'll get that out later on the week and then obviously the new nightmare hunts have come out so we'll have a look at those as well thanks a lot for watching guys i hope this helps in some small way for you to get through this if you've enjoyed the video a like rating would be awesome take care of yourself guys and i will see you in the next video